Hello, hello, Valiant Streaming here, guys. Welcome on in. We're back in old school RuneScape. Yay! Well, what an insane week it's been. My old school RuneScape videos have been totally popping off. I mean, we're pouring coffee. As if you didn't already know. They've been going crazy. I absolutely cannot believe the support I'm getting and the views. You name it. Insane. But... We must continue on. So, carrying on from what I said we were going to try and do. Uh, we're going to go, first of all, and do some mining. We're going to do some mining. We're going to do some wood cutting. We're going to kill some cows. We're going to smith the stuff up that we make. Let's go down. Yeah, we're going to... Let's, let's uh, run. We're going to smith some stuff up that we make. So let's climb down, climb down. Oh, no, we're already down. <laughs> and then we're going to kill cows and look for some imps. We're going to totally close our eyes and ignore any imps for the time being. I do have loads of suggestions off you uh, guys what to do. Go try this, go try that. And I do understand you want to see me try it, and I will. I've got to feel that I'm kind of ready to go and have a look at these things. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a full set of copper. Because I think we mine quicker now, don't we? I'm sure that we get it a bit quicker. I've been told how things were. Oh, look, there's mine in level 22. Members can now mine volcanic ash nice see i would like to sneak my way up to uh the level 31 for the next pickaxe we have got it written in the notes here look we need level 31 for the adamant pickaxe and it costs 3200 gold so i think we can uh we'll get there it's gonna probably be a, a while I mean, of course, we're not just going to mine today. But I'm going to be doing two full backpacks of mining. I'm probably not going to smith it today, though. I was going to, but I think I'm not. I don't think I really need to. So what we'll do is we'll store them in the bank. And then next episode... What we will do is we'll go and smelt the whole lot and smith with it. Right, I hope you don't hear any noise on the video today. But my neighbours seem to be having some building work done next door. Hopefully you won't hear it. I've got my mic set to not hear very much. I hope. But yeah. We've got to get our skills up. Let's see, this is going up reasonably well still. What are we getting? Are we getting about 2% per per ore? Let's just see. Yeah, that was 3%. That's fair enough. And that was 2 So we're probably getting about 2.5% per mile. It's not taking us overly long, is it? Let's be honest. We're, uh, we're almost full on the first run. But we've just got to time things correct. It would certainly be nice to get another level up. and we It looks like we will. So it looks like we will reach level 23 mining in this episode. The magic number is going to be 40, I think, to make some of those um, some of those gold necklaces and go and sell them. That's where the money's coming from. But I'm sure you guys do not want to see me do a, an entire episode of just mining to try and reach 40. Let's zoom out so we can see where we're going. So we'll just do it a little bit at a time. I, I'm in no rush. Well, that's odd. I can actually see. Can I? Will that work? Right. I want to just see if that works. 
I've clicked climb up the staircase from all the way back here. I. What is that going to work? If that works, that's pretty darn magical. I'm not kidding. Too hasty with a coffee again. To be honest with you, I've literally only made the coffee in the flask probably 10 minutes ago. So no wonder it's so hot. It's like I've just poured the kettle in my mouth. This is actually going to do it. This is actually going to allow me to climb up the stairs. I didn't realise you could do something like that from so far away. It's actually going to do it, look. It did. That's insane. Insanely good, I might add. Insanely good. Right, we're going to drop this ore off. We're going to go and we're going to grab one full inventory of tin. So that's there. And as I say, next time, should we run again? Let's run again. Huh? We're trying to optimize a little bit. You know, I'm never going to be a player that does everything the best possible way everything can be done. It's not how I like to play. I like I like the journey. The journey I'm taking, I'm slowly getting better at, at mining. I'm getting the materials I need to make better gear. Uh, to make me a little bit stronger at fighting, etc. I've got myself some leather piece made. This is exciting for me to, to feel like I am slowly but surely progressing my character. Right, let's get a full inventory of this. This will definitely level us to level 23 in mining. Then we're going to grab our hatchet. Do you know? Hindsight now tells me this probably wasn't the best place to do this. We should have perhaps done this at Varrock because I've already found out that the, the mine down at Varrock is quite close to the bank. No going upstairs and things like that. And then we cut a load of trees right outside Varrock Bank before. But then here is close to the cows to kill some cows. I don't know how many cows we're going to kill today because I actually want to check Falador out for imps. I got a tips. Okay, we, we reached level 23 mining. I don't think we could do anything, otherwise, it would have come up, would it? 23, 22. Equipment, no, we know we can't. Areas, no, no. Okay, let's just continue. I mean, this hasn't taken too long, to be honest. I know we're not full yet, but we're not far off. To fill up two inventories full of this. Try not to get ahead of myself to think of things, of what I need to do. I've got goals in my head. My first main goal is such a, a probably a trivial goal, and that is to get an armor piece or, or an item in every slot. And I'm still really missing. So I'm not including cosmetics. And the prince's leggings are a cosmetic item. I still need a ring, a necklace. I'm not worried about the ranged item. That's my first goal. My first goal is to get those pieces in. I could mm, maybe do it today if I really wanted to, but I don't want to spend a whole episode mining because I think I might lose viewers. <laughs> and that's not what I want. I want to gain as many viewers, as many subscriptions, and I want I want this to uh, to do well. And it's the same as my other my other uh, things. I was so disappointed in uh, what I think not the last Lord of the Rings video, the one before. Wow, 
the amount of viewers it got was so bad like it's a it's like a body blow honestly you think god nobody likes it nobody nobody wants to watch and then you start thinking god does that mean that people are not going to be wanting to watch my videos at all they've gone off watching my videos is it just bad timing bad luck because it's not it's not that people have watched it and then says oh man that was that was bad it's that nobody actually clicked on it to watch it well people did there was a, some people clicking on it of course there was but it was so so few in comparison to what normally happens not expecting them to be as popular as the old school runescape of course not but they were way way under popular for what was standard of of my lord of the rings as well so yeah enough talking about that right we have our can we can we move these like that no not let's swap them over oh it will there oh what's that oh that's okay right wood cutting let's get the axe out trying to gain some skills many people keep saying look you need to get some skills going get some progress going and i am trying i really am trying guys i promise uh can we actually cut trees just outside here this looks like it would be uh oh there's a poacher or something out here though isn't there a, a robber a mugger or there's someone out here isn't there that's okay let's see if we can get some wood cutting skill can't see him for now so this is a nice close place to do it oh i need 15 wood cutting to cut down that tree an oak oh there he is look a mugger i mean we can kill him but i don't want to waste time plus if he drops some loot Okay, wood cutting level eight. Let's keep. We're going to fill the inventory up again, and we're just going to put it back in the bank. Save it for now, because I, I want to make sure I get some time in for killing and looking for some imps again. I want to check Falador. I was told Southern Falador is the place to go. Oh wow, this tree doesn't want to go down. Chop, 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 chop. There it goes. The music's very nice. You know, we could zoom in a bit, couldn't we? No need to be quite that far out. So yeah, I hope you, uh, you folks have had a great week. I'm. Uh, I. I feel like I'm all better now. I've had a rough. Had a rough few days with uh, not feeling too good. With I don't know if I had just a little bit of a cold or something. I never get it full, but I do get some of the symptoms because I. I do have a uh, flu jab. Okay, level nine. It's going up quite quick. I can't remember what what level it said to chop the canoe thing up by Varrock way I can't remember what level it was now off the top of my head it'll probably tell me in here maybe let's have a quick look wood cutting wood cutting this is other a log canoe Oh, I don't know, you see, it's a different 12. It says 12. Wow, if it is only 12, we're nearly there. Let's just keep hacking on the trees. Look at all these. Giant ratskis. I wonder if the giant rats give us anything any good. I'm trying to think. Maybe a hide or a pelt. I know it's going to sound crazy. Teeth or something. 
Why do I walk round so strangely there? Look. Rather odd. Oh, yo, there's level 10. Members can now cut down light jungle. Ooh. Well, that's not us, unfortunately. Not yet. Oh, dear me. Keep cutting these trees. We're on a gathering spree. We've gathered two inventory loads of... Uh, what tree is that? A yew tree. Okay, I'm going to go to it. I'm going to imagine we can't cut that. I'd like to see what gills needed. Though. 60! Holy moly. Okay, so yew trees are... Uh, wow, what's that there? Is that a huge oak there? We're going to go and have a look. We have to look. We's exploring. Oh, is it even a tree you can cut? Or is that a... That's not highlighting. That's that's just scenery, isn't it? Come on, Val. Hit it. That looks like the smallest tree of them all. And you're faffing about with it. Let's go. That the mugger, yeah. He's a joke of a mugger. He mugs you with his bare hands. Yeah, that's... Can't do nothing. That's just a piece of scenery. That's fair enough. Oh! Woodcut in 11. We can now chop with a black axe. That's another thing people are, are mentioning as well. I should do a... West, what was it? X marks the spot. I was being told to do that one. Because that's the one that gives you... Uh, uh, for want of another word, because I can't remember it. You can go and do, like, treasure hunting. Odd. Yeah, you can go and do uh, some treasure hunting. All right, we're going back upstairs to bank this. Um, this time, we're not going to be fools. We're going to get our... A little bit of food. Remember last time? Oof. It was dodgy last time. We could only kill a couple of cows, and we had to come and get some food. All right, so we're going to put all of these away. Put the axe away. We'll take the bread, and let's take... I'm going to take three of these shrimps as well. And we're going to go and kill us some cows. Mainly because I would go and kill other things. But right now, we need the hides, don't we, to keep getting that crafting skill up. Making the leather items. So, you know, at the moment, the cows are giving me fighting skills. I'm improving in my fighting and they're giving me meat to cook so I'm improving in my cooking and they're giving me hides to turn into leather so to be honest these are a, a no-brainer come on let's run boosh so we're doing it seems to be gathering gathering uh, today like I say we've got two Full inventory. One inventory full of copper. One inventory full of... Oh, where am I going? One inventory full of tin. Oh, we're just going to start hacking on these straight away. I don't even know what went up then because that was, that was quick. Defense. Let's go back on to uh, chopping these things. I do know a lot of you as well keep trying to help me out telling me what the best weapon is I should use. But I'm not... Let me explain. Okay, I'm not really a cookie cutter player. I don't have to go for efficiency. It's not It's not in my mind. It's not. It's, I'm not built like that where I have to kind of be the best. What I want to do is just enjoy the journey as I go and 
Whoa. and find out different things as I go. I hope you can all appreciate that. I just, I just don't need to be the best. I don't want to be the best. It's more of a, a little challenge to myself. I wonder when. Oh, I wonder if I'll ever. How somebody told me I could. There's there's an add-on thing in here. One of these will tell you what your maximum hit is, like your what your highest crit is that you can do. But I don't know where I might find it. What's in attack styles? No, see, it's not that. I can't remember what it was now. Anything to do with crit? Custom cursor. Combat level. Could it be combat level? Calculate the next or show level range. No. Now I can't remember what it was. They did. They. In fact, I don't think they even told me what it was. I can left click these to bury them. Look at this today. We're we're kicking their butts and not even worried about food at the moment. I'm just trying to see if I can find this. Uh, so it's not combat level. DPS counter, could it be? Show damage, no. No, there's no way it's that. Um, daily task, if I word. Ooh, level eight. Sweet, that's loot. Let's move on to Slash. We may as well. Oh, I'm trying to hurry up. Uh, examine. Yes, control fairy rings. Let me zoom this up a little so I'm not staring down at the ground. Ground items, ground markers. High score, Hunter. Uh, I can't see it. I can't see what I might even think it would be. See, I don't want to spend too much time looking. I want to spend my time today gaining some skills, making difference. Okay, we're all the way up around here somewhere. I can't see. I can't see what I think it might be. No. If anybody knows which one it is, apparently I was told in one of the comments there's something that will tell you what your max damage hit would be. Like, see, that came up as a two. There should be somewhere that would tell me my max damage hit. It looks like it's still only a two, regardless. Oh, wait, I hope I haven't got it locked here. Give me one sec. I wonder. Have I locked it? Where was it? Activities. There. There. Max hit splats, the max hit threshold. Max hits below this threshold will not show max hit splats. No, it can't be that. 
As soon as I see a three, if I see a three, I'll change that to a three in there. Okay, we are filling off. Coffee! Oh no, I hope that's not gone cold. No, it was fine. What are we on? Eight health. The bread will give us five back and fill us fully up. So no need to eat it just yet. These shrimps only give us three back. Well, we're almost out of room. I'm not going to spend any time cooking or or crafting or anything today. There we go. Strength is up. Oh, there's an imp out there, look. But we'll be coming to the imps shortly. Okay, the bread. I'm not sure what's going on. Green, take us to 12. How much health do we have? What is our normal amount of health? Must be a way to show that. What is our maximum health? Okay, it doesn't show anywhere. Interesting. Okay, we're down to five. I'm going to eat this bread. Ah, look. It highlights the orange line there. Okay, nine. It looks like ten. It might be thirteen, actually. Okay, we can't... We can't actually carry that much more. There's no one around here today, either. It's a quiet day. Do you know what? We're getting actually quite a lot done. It's only been going about 30 minutes of the episode. We've done mining, we've done wood cutting, we've almost got a full inventory here. So things are starting to speed up. The other thing I want to touch on again soon as well is a bit more fishing. Did we just level up, by the way? We didn't. I didn't change. Oh, I did change it. I did change it. Can we eat this while fighting? I'm interested to just see. Let's just try if we can eat it. I mean, bury it. Eat it? I'm trying to eat bones here. Spare ribs. Mm. You can't, you've got to like some spare ribs. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, sorry about that, guys. One, two, three. Now, this is interesting. We only have room to carry one more item. We'll kill one more. Because it may very well level us up. And we'll just take... I think we'll take the cowhide. We'll take the bone, bury the bone, and take the cowhide and leave the beef. I think that's the plan. There we go. Level 8. Let's change the stance back to chopping for accuracy. Take the bones. Eat. Oh, and look at that prayer level went up as well. How splendid. Take the cowhide. Things are looking up. Now, let's stop running. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here that a bit different. Rather than taking this stuff to Lombridge, being as I'm coming over here to Southern Valador, I may as well go into the bank in there look, and bank it. Save me going back up the stairs, coming back down, says to come over here anyway. Yeah, let's do this. I don't want to sprint because I'm guessing I'm quite heavy and we'll burn. Burn this stuff down. 
Right, I can't remember the name of this place. This place is called... Read the sign and it'll tell me. Ports are in Falador and Rimington. Draenor Village, that is right. You got north to Draenor Manor, east to Lumbridge, west to Port Sarin, Falador, Rimington. Right, okay. Rimington? Doesn't ring a bell. Rimington. Rimington, there, look. Um. Oh, it does. Actually, it does. Remington, if I recall, we went there on the Halloween quest, didn't we? It was the place where we couldn't remember the name of the person. What does it say about these things? Examine the shrimps. Some nicely cooked shrimp. Examine the cow hide. I should take this to the tannery. Oh, it's not worth much, look. And the meat. I need to cook this first. Fair enough. See this? Oh, stand and deliver. Go away. I don't want to fight you either. You can't touch this. <laughs> Mate, if only you could run. Oh, imp. Imp. Oh, maybe this is what... I was told about South Valador for imps. Awesome. Right, we're looking for the inn. Hold on, stop running. Uh, not the inn, sorry. Oh, this is the banker. Where are we going? In there, please. I lost my train of thought what I was saying just before I saw those imps. Right, so let's change that to all. Put these in. Put the meat in and the meat needs to go to f uh no i'm not going to put it in food for yeah it's uncooked food i'm going to put that in and i think we're just going to go out uh no i've done this before done this before haven't i i'm going to take these three pieces of meat out and we're going to try and kill these imps that are out here let's do it we need three more beads. What do we need? Let's have a look, see if we can get any. Imp catcher. We've got the white beads. We need a black, a red, and a yellow. Let's see if we can get any of them today. There he is. There's one. Oh, there's another right there. That's okay, mate. You're, you're first. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh no, he's teleported already. There he is, look, the cheeky little... Oh wait, there's one up there. I thought... Oh wait, oh my gosh. There's two more around. There's one down there, look, and one behind me. Oh, I've got to run, because this is, this is actually quite frustrating. A hammer and fiendish ashes okay the ashes we know we can scatter right, where did this one go there he is oh what he's gone inside come here is that a bead i see you carrying in your back pocket No, it's your tail. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a pain with them. Keep running off. Come on, hit him. There's another imp outside waiting for us. This one's a dodgy little sucker. Ah, have a seat. What we got? Bre bread and fiendish ashes. Oh, what's this? 
urgent message for you. Okay, let's talk to him. Hello, Valiant. I've got a message for you from Molly. She needs your help urgently. Will you assist her now? Who the hell's Molly? Sure, anything for Molly or tell her to get stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, sure, anything for Molly. All right, we're off on an adventure. Oh, what's this there? Okay, Molly. Yep, Molly. Thanks for coming. What's the problem then? It's my evil twin sister. She's been gallivanting around Gylenor, committing crimes, and now I'm getting the blame. Well, what's all this got to do with me then? <laughs> I love it. I'm glad you asked. Through that door is a room with a cage and a control panel that operates a giant mechanical claw. Okay. Okay. I see that. I lured my sister into the room so I could imprison her in the cage by using the claw. The problem is my sister managed to herd some innocent civilians in there with her. Okay. So what do you need me to do? I need you to go next door and use the claw to catch my sister. <laughs> Once she's in prison, she won't be causing me any more bother. Sounds easy enough to me. Fabulous. Now, take a good long look at me, because the door will be locked behind you. My twin looks exactly like me. Even her clothes. Okay. Okay, so what are you wearing? Uh, green fancy top green skirt yeah no problem blonde hair one more thing to make your life difficult the magic powering the claw is running low so you'll only have two attempts to catch her really i'll do my best then by the way would you like to run through the would you like me to run through the controls for you or you do you think you'll manage i think you need to tell me if I've only got two goes, yes, please. I mean, it's always best to be prepared, right? That's true. Okay, when you turn the machine on, you'll see the glowing mark on the floor where the claw is currently aiming, and you'll see a lever and button on the right-hand side of your screen. To move the claw's current location, click on the direction you want it to move in, as indicated on the right-hand panel. You'll know which way the claw will go, as the lever will point that way to show you. When you see someone on top of the glowing mark, then hit the button on the right-hand panel, as this will send the claw down to pick them up. Do be careful and make sure that there is someone on the mark, and not just walking past it. Oh, and make sure that the person is my sister, so you don't end up catching a random civilian. Does that help? Yes, that covers everything. Thanks. Good luck. Okay. So green top, green green skirt, blonde hair. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So... She wasn't showing a midriff. that one over there. All right, let's use the control panel. Uh, okay, button to grab. This one to move. Right. Okay, I get it. Hey, don't start moving. Grab. That's her. That's definitely her. The other's got two short skirts on. She weren't showing her a belly off and that one's got trousers on well done you managed to catch my sister yay we got the right one that wasn't as hard i was expecting that to be something really puzzling like some of the other stuff i've come across in the game come next door and talk to me okay oh, we're still running oh that's okay let's just run well, I've managed to get her into the cage. 
fantastic. For so many years, I've had to put up with her, and now she's locked up for good. Thank you for all your help. Take this as a reward. What did we get? Molly's given you two noted uncut rubies. Nice. That was worth it. Now, we've got to get back to imp killing. Oh, there's... Oh, wow. They, oh, this was a good spot. I got... Uh, attack that imp. Uh, go. I got given a good tip. This was a good tip for these imps. It's not a spoiler, in my opinion. This is not a spoiler. It's just a nice tip for me to be able to come and kill imps. It's no different than I got... Oh, look at this guy killing cows up here. No different than the tip I got about killing cows. Wow, look at the imps here. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Raw chicken and some more ashes. Oh, we can scatter these ashes. This is going to help our uh, our prayer skill out. There he is. Come here. My little sword wants a word with you. Where is he? Oh, do you know what, though? These are a real pain to fight, running around the way they do. Feels like I'm ice skating. Well, it's the wifey's birthday coming up soon, 2nd of December. So, I don't really know what to get her. I know that her gaming chair that is just over my shoulder here is a bit... She doesn't really have good chairs she doesn't she doesn't like good chairs i saved all my like birthday money up one year and christmas money that's how i managed to get a good chair i got a secret lamps chair and it's super comfy like awesome my wife tends to just want a comfy kind of office chair so you're talking maybe a hundred pounds so i'm gonna see if i can get her a new chair for her computer all right oh looky looky we've got us a yellow bead boosh right we're halfway there we have a yellow bead we have a white bead let's keep going can we get another what do we need we need a uh, black and i can't remember the other color was it green red Green or red? I don't think I can look at it or I'll stop fighting, won't I, maybe? Actually, it probably won't even let me. Oh, it will. It was black. I saw black. Black and red we need. A pot of flour. Okay, we're getting some real random stuff off these. But I don't mind as long as they're giving us what we want. These beads. This is training fighting as... Oh! We leveled up, didn't we? Yes, we need to change. Change to slash. See if we hit them a bit harder now. Maybe a three. Can we see our first three on damage? No, it's a two there. Look at the imps around though. This is amazing. Yes. Cabbage and some more... So they drop ashes every time. So that's... It's something, at least. And there's so much random stuff, look. Pot of flour, a hammer, a cabbage, a raw chicken, bread. Examine the cabbage. Yuck, I don't like cabbage. <laughs> what does the bead say, actually? A small round yellow bead. What a surprise. Burnt meat. And more ashes. Where did they go? Where's the imps gone? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one over there. They spread out. Cheeky little buggers. 
Oh, do you know what? I, when I saw this many, so oh my god, we're going to finish this easily. But oh no, where are we going? But they don't. Dro oh my goodness, they don't drop that often. That's something weird that happens there. It's another one there. I've got to try and keep my eyes on. Oh no, he disappeared. And this guy teleported again. I'm slipping off down the hill. I still haven't seen a higher hit than a tour as yet. But I don't mind. We don't need higher hits than twos at the moment. Bronze bolts. And some more ashes. Wow, do you know what? We're almost leveled up on our uh, prayer again. was here oh, oh there's one can't target him come here attack that imp please oh, there's another one behind now I just saw him look like there Oof. we've actually gained a few points of uh, fight skills as well. That's annoying. All the way up there, look, he is. Yeah. The teleporting is annoying. Especially when my pathing is so bad. Oh, give me strength. I mean, look, this is weird. This is just weird here. I'm telling you now. Fiendish ashes in a bucket of water. Talk about random stuff. We're out of run speed as well. Look, we can't actually run now. That's a bit of a bind. This, I must be honest, this is an amazing spot for the imps. It, it, it really is. But the thing is, they still don't drop them very much, do they? We've killed a few. Are we lagging? No, never mind. That was me. I picked up an ash. This is a pain, though, that we can't run. Whee! There's our strength up. We're going good. We're on uh, nine strength. Nine attack. We need to get the defense up to nine now. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you dare run off. Stand still and take your medicine. Like a a man, I was going to say, but like an imp. Look at him backing off from me, backpedalling. Look. What? Is he for real? I'm going to have to sprint there. Didn't have any energy to sprint, but another hammer. Okay. Let's see. Imps, imps, imps. Right, so we've we've only actually managed to get one, so Oh no, the teleporting really is pain, honestly. Oh god. Why am I doing this? Look, what's going on? Why do I give it... That can't be lag. That's not lag doing that. Never seen this before. 
This is quite infuriating, I'm not going to lie. Wow. This imp's dead. He just don't know it. He can walk and he can run. But he's going down. He had bread dough. How many different things that they literally drop? Our wow, prayer went six. Wonderful. Do you know something? A lot of this stuff I'm, I'm literally probably just going to drop. Can we see another imp? There, I just caught sight of one, look. Just hide him round this corner. There he is. Come on, Mr. Imp. I'm sorry, but you're going down. Yeah, we've got him trapped. Nowhere to run to. Oh... Where are we going now? We're chasing the imp, so where's he gone? Let's let's pour another coffee. We need some more Java. Where's he going? Where is he going? Where's the imp? Am I bugged? Is this bugged or what? I'm not controlling this. He's just walking on his own. There he is there. How did he get in here? Where am I going? Look. Look. i got to open the door to go in anyway. This is crazy. This is crazy. If he teleports now, it's going to be frustrating. <laughs> All that for some ashes. All right, we need to go back over there. Wow, well, that was a, a pain, but we haven't been in here before, so this is pretty cool. I don't know what this place is. Talk to the squire. Attack the white knight. As if we're going to attack the white knight at level 38. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's uh, that's telling me not long left for the, for the episode. But we're going to keep going for a few more minutes. I don't want to waste my... Wait, is it... It's this way. I'm getting confused. Quite honestly, I'm getting confused now. What's going on with these imps? Let's, let's have a look because we'll be able to tell what we'll get right those don't sell do they that means those hammers are going on the floor because it shows no price the ashes we know about them the burnt meal the pot of flour we could add water to that pot can we do that actually hold on use that on that to make some bread dough there you go we'll make some dough come here come here imp we can actually cook some bread now we've got two lots of bread doughs look what about the pot the pot doesn't look like it'll sell either so let's drop the pot uh, the cabbage we can eat. The bucket's no good to us now. Let's just check. Examine. Yeah, it will sell for one at the merchant. What about this? The bronze bolts. They don't look like they'll sell either. Ah, oh, we've just got another white bead. Holy smokes. I didn't think it would give us a, another one. I wonder if we could sell that. Examine the white bead. Two. Okay, we'll, we'll keep those. Everything else we'll keep hold of for the time being. Oh, the bucket. Oh, yeah, even the bucket said it would sell for one. It's just one gold, though. It, it feels hardly worth it, but hey. If we're going to be going to the general merchant anyway, 
Well, look at the imps here. So we did... Oh, we've just got our hit points raised. Nice. 14 hit points we have. Oh, we, oh, no, it's a yellow bead again. So we've got two yellow beads, two white beads. That's quite annoying. I wonder if we can trade them, like, if there's... No, I doubt it. It's a quest, isn't it? I was going to say, I wonder if there was a way to trade them, like a, a, a merchant. Yeah, our defense has gone up. Work back on our chop chop. We're going for level 10 on there. Uh, accuracy. Do I feel like I'm hitting more? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he went down easy. A tinder box now. And some more fiendish ash ashes. We don't have long left, but let's just examine the tinder box. Now I'm going by what I was told. If it doesn't say anything on the end there, it's not, you can't sell it for anything. Maybe you could on the the the, uh, the auction house thing. I, I can't remember what it's called. It's the, I can't remember what it is now. The GE thing. Come on, come on. Another one down. Some more bronze bolts. All right, we're going to have time to kill. Let's try three more imps. Three more imps, see if we can get lucky. Other than that, we're going to... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to where I want to start the next episode, which is going to be the Varrock Bank. Come on, smash him. I think, I think next episode we're going to do it similar. I think we'll do a full two runs of mining, but we will smith it all next time. Smelt and smith. I think we'll do another wood cutting and see if we can make this log thing. Um this canoe and I think we might do some fishing I don't know if we're going to do any fighting next episode we may we may but we'll see oh no we have us a runner oh we're going to run after him come on hit him hard Okay, I seem to be seeing a lot more number twos. Like crits. I still haven't seen a three yet. Can't, wow, look at this. What is this? That is actually quite triggering. It doing that. Oh my God, he's gone outside the wall, look. He's, wait, he's inside the wall. All right, that is a bug, right? Unless you can get in there. All right, so we found our first bug. Uh-oh. Bit of a glitch there, guys, that uh, teleported <laughs> actually inside this wall. Let's pick on another one instead. This one here. Oh my goodness. 
Some of these imps are actually really frustrating. I said three more and they're just running around. And I don't know why. Why is my character doing that look? My character ran right past him, swerved past it, and then decides to come back. That's weird. Is that a normal thing to happen? Sure, it it must be, but oh wow, that was a that was a bit of a fanfare. That was that gave me a little bit of a fanfare. That did. Okay, we're going for slashing again now. Wow. We've got an egg. <laughs> An egg and some more ashes. Right, we're going for one more kill. One more kill. Say one more kill. There he is. There's the victim. Get over here! Right, we'll see what's what as well. I want to travel to uh, to Varrock straight from here to the general store. I know where the general store is. There, there's there's bound to be one here as well. I want to end at Varrock anyway. Okay, just some more ashes and another bucket. Well, we got another bead that we need. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. There we go. Right, we're going to cut through Falador. No, actually, we could use the bank here. We're right next to it. I wonder if there's a general store around. There must be. There must be. Let's have a mouthful of coffee. Right, so I'm going to put all of those why those the yellow bead we definitely want the bread we'll keep too let's change this to all the raw chicken we'll keep and the dough because we can cook that at some point the buckets I want to try and sell the cabbage Oof. the cabbage we'll just put it there for now and the raw chicken and the dough all in there uh these bronze bolts you know i'm actually going to save them for the time being just in case i ever require them the ash will keep hold of the egg will keep towards cooking for now keep the burnt meat we're going to try and sell these but and get our way to where we want to be next episode so is there a general store here i do know like I say there's one in varrock and i know where it is but it would be nice to find the one here it's got to be up here right general 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 store yeah this is this is actually it here according to this it looks like it. Trade the shopkeeper. Oh no, don't attack the guard. Trade the shopkeeper. Oof. That was worrying. Right, how much will he give us for these beads? Value. One coin. You're kidding me. Well, I don't need it. That's probably going to be the same. Yeah, and the bucket. So much. Oh, nothing. Yeah, let's just sell them. Give them him. Have them for your stock, mate. So we got a two two whole coins and i'm probably now on hindsight gonna get shot down by some comments saying oh my god i can't believe you sold them you could have traded those for the other colors at some crazy wizard fella and <laughs> but 
Oh, well. Right, we're going to run. Have you noticed something, guys? Look, look, look. I've got confidence that I know the way between the, the places without having to check the map where I'm going. It's the dwarfy music in the dwarf mine up there. We're coming to somewhere up here. What's this? Oh yeah, the barbarian place. Oh, this is where the, yeah, this is where the canoe thing is. This is where the canoe thing is that I want to check. There, look. Chop down the canoe station. I just want to see what it says. You must have at least 12, at least level 12 woodcutting to start making canoes. Let's just talk to this guy. Hello there. Haha, <laughs> hello. Oh, look, can you teach me about canoeing? All right, let's ask him who he is first. I was just about to end. How can we? I'm Sigurd the Great and Brainy. Why do they call you the Great and Brainy? Because I invented the log canoe. Log canoe? Yeesh. Me and my cousins were having a great party by the river when we decided to have a game of Smack the Tree. Smack the Tree? It's a game where you take it in turns smacking a tree. First one to uproot the tree wins. Anyway, I won the game with a flying tackle. The tree came loose and down the riverbank I went, still holding the tree. I woke up a few hours later and found myself several miles down river. And that's how I invented the log canoe. So you invented the log canoe by falling into a river, hugging a tree. Well, I refined the design from the original, you know. I cut all the branches off. To make it more comfortable, I could tell you how if you like. Have we got time? No. But no, tell us next time, Sigurd. Tell us next time when we've when we've got our acts and we've got level twelve. That that right there is something for next episode. That's for sure. So we've got for next episode we've got some more mining some smithing we've got wood cutting we've got sorting out this canoe maybe i'm gonna say fishing as well depends what happens with this canoe quite honestly it depends what happens with the canoe let's go into this bank here wow the halloween stuff is still up blimey i mean i do these videos about about roughly i would say a week before i post so what is the date today friday it's friday the it's the 11th of november <laughs> and they're still here crazy if i'd have known that i would have done a little tiny bit each time to get the extra halloween gifts right now Right, this is where I wanted to be. The bank look here. Stop here. Because then we're going to come down here to get the two lots of of uh, tin and copper. And then, if I recall... No, that's where we smith. Because that's the sword shop to sell to. Where did we smelt it? I can't remember. I'll have to look. I'll have to look next episode. But that's it, I'm afraid, folks. Another episode done. We've gone well over the hour, I think. But <laughs> hey, it is what it is. But thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like for me. Very important. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It really does help. If you hit the, the, uh, the bell as well, It'll tell you when my next video goes live. There's two a week coming out. I do them on a... The Old School RuneScape is on a Monday and a Friday. I release. Um, but yeah. Don't forget to comment. I will answer all comments. 
But yeah, until next time, guys, God bless. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye for now. Take care.